on entrance in, I'll turn my steps. We shall be praying for all your personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty my God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord and our God. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God, the Father of every gift, we confess that all we have and are comes down from you. Teach us to recognize the effects of your boundless care and to love you with a sincere heart and with all our strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, for there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by His grace as a gift to the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by His blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in His divine forbearance He had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of our boasting? It is excluded. By what kind of law? By a law of works? No, but by the law of faith. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from the works of the law? Or is God the God of Jews only? 
Is he not the God of Gentiles also? Yes, of Gentiles also, since God is one who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, For with the Lord there is mercy, in Him is plentiful redemption. I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleadings. Response. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, that you may be revered. Response For with the Lord there is mercy, healing is plentiful I long for you, O Lord, my soul longs for his word. My soul hopes in the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. Response Oh, with the Lord there is mercy, in Him is plentiful redemption. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said, Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses, and you consent to the deeds of your fathers, for they kill them, and you build their tombs. Therefore, also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute so that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be charged against this generation, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the sanctuary. As I tell you, it will be required of this generation. Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hindered those who were entering. As he went away from there, the scribes and the Pharisees began to press him hard and to provoke him to speak about many things lying in wait for him, to catch him in something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, if we can really analyze the Pharisees whom Jesus continues to attack in the last couple of days, I'd like to look at three points.
The first, Jesus says very clearly, listen to what they say, but don't do as they do. Because they are familiar with the law. They know the teachings very well. Unfortunately, they do not put that into practice, but lay heavy burdens on others, so that others need to follow the law, but they become the exception to the rule. The second, Jesus says, be careful because there's a world of a difference between their appearance and the reality. The appearance is what you can see from the outside, a holier than thou attitude. I'm so pious, I'm so religious. But inside they are filled with filth. And this is the second warning that Jesus gives. And the third, for those who do not agree, just hang them from a tree. This has been the way the Pharisees have been behaving over the centuries. Not just when it comes to Jesus being finally put to death on the cross, but all the prophets that came before him were also persecuted and martyred and put to death. Perhaps there is a Pharisee in each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters. We do perhaps know the law, but we behave differently. We apply the rule for one person, but it does not apply for us. We too could be like the Pharisees. One thing on the outside, a beautiful outward appearance, but inside filled with filth. And maybe we too are not really accepting those who are teaching what Jesus has to say. Maybe we too are not living by the words of the gospel. Maybe we too are far from what Jesus expects each one of us to be. I pray that this Pharisee that is there within each one of us comes out and we throw it aside. Because we are not supposed to have Pharisaic attitudes, but we are supposed to live with a heart like that of Jesus. I offer to him, Abba Father. Sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord of His name, for our good and the good of all the souls For the gifts you have bestowed, O Lord, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, humbly begging that what you have conferred upon us in our unworthiness we may give back to the glory of your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, if you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who hold the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul to enrich me with your holy grace and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. I commanded him, show me your ways, O Lord. Let us pray. O God, who have given to us as spiritual food the saving sacrament of your Son, which we have offered you in thanksgiving, grant that being strengthened by gifts of courage and joy, we may serve you more devotedly and be worthy of still further blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor 
and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit. And may the peace and blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Do I announce the gospel of the Lord? Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our recess will be hand in hand with Christ.